If you're not in guys, welcome to videos of like I need to do right. Thanks for watching our videos online. Please don't subscribe, please do it, press subscribe button and the subscribe bell now to uh, update on this YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless you. Today I'm considering 2023 why for that month to create you or to kill us. And in, in in kind of preparing for our exam this year, we are going to be considering some topic, an essential topic that is likely to come out in the exams. Topic like matrices, log reading indices, and all, and so on and so forth. Statistic probability. So we are going to be taking some of these cogent topics, and we're going to treat this before the exam on Friday. And here is a question before us: under matrix, and it is actually the determinant of matrix. How you can use the determinant of matrix to solve for the unknown of a value in a what in a given equation or in a given expression. And also, you can ask you to use determinant to calculate the what the simultaneous equation involving what three unknowns. That is Kramer's what rule. You can also watch that video on my YouTube channel based on very two class for 2022. I talk about what using Kramer's rule in solving matrices. But today we are going to be using what determinant matrix to determine or to find. The unknown value of what x and the question goes to us if this is equal to minus 24, find the value of x. The first thing is to what label this or plus, label it plus, minus, then plus. Then the next thing is to what now cut down, now cut down the word, the first word column, and then what circle the word, the first row. You can see the meet at one point here, which is what? At x minus what? 3. So we have to bring it plus x minus 3 out lines plus x minus into brackets minus 3 plus into bracket x minus 3. Then you open a minor. This is a minor. The only one here is a minor. We have 2, 2 minus 4, 6 minus x bracket plus. Close. These are not together, they are separately. So you close the words, the minor. Then the same thing happens here while you was while you clean out these words, column to circle out the words, the second column. So the width at minus words, four of it. So it's going to be minus, sign on top is minus, minus four. Then open out the minor. The minor will be 5 this time around. It will be 5, 2, 2, 6 minus what? X. Then the last one here, you clean the second column. You clean the second column to circle out the what? The third column. You have plus 3. Plus theory, then we have what five two two minus four. We close the minor, then equal to everything equal to what minus twenty what four. So from here now we can now easily what multiply now. So we have what plus does not affect this one, so it will be x minus three. Then yeah. open square bracket, 6 is bracket, 6 minus x. So you multiply the leading, this leading diagonal, and then you remove this second diagonal from the leading diagonal. So we have 2 into bracket, 6 minus x, the product of leading diagonal. Then the second diagonal will be removed from the leading diagonal, which is 2 times minus 4. Bracket or close. Okay. Minus times minus will give you what? Plus 4. Then 5 times this will be 5 into bracket 6 minus x. Minus 2 times 2. Look at this in second down, times 2 will give you 4. Bracket it. Then plus 3 over bracket 5 times minus 4 will give you minus 20. Then 2 times 2 will give you 4. Minus what? 4. Everything still equals to minus 24. 
how together I believe so. We have was x minus 3, 2 times 6 is what? 12, minus 2x, minus, then 2 times minus 4, it's going to be minus 8. Minus times minus will give what? Plus 8. So that one is that. Then we move to this one. Plus 4 over bracket. 5 times 6 we give us what? 5 times 6 will give us 30. 5 times 6 will give us 30. Then 5 times this will give us minus 5x minus 4. Bracket was plus. Then plus 3 open bracket. Minus 20 minus 4 is given minus 24. Bracket will equal to minus 24. So with this one now we have x minus 3 into bracket 12. 12 plus 8 will give you 20. 20 minus 2x. Bracket will close. So now we have plus 4 open bracket 30 minus 4. Let's look at it critically. 5 times 6 plus 30. Then we have what? Minus 5 eight. We have minus 4 here. Minus 4. So 30 minus 4 will give us what? 26 minus 5 x. Bracket close. What's that minus 4 will 26? So plus, plus times minus will give us minus 72 equal to minus 20 what? 4. 3 times minus, this is minus 72. Then this one is equal to minus 24. So multiply this one out. X times x is 20x. X times 20 is 20x. X times 20 is 20x. X times minus 2x is minus 2x squared. Now, so let's only use x to multiply this bracket. Then use this to also. Minus 3 times 20 will be minus 60. Minus 3 times 20 is minus 60. Minus times minus is going to give you plus. Then 3 times 2 is going to give you 6x. So let's really get that. Okay, from that, plus 4 times 26, what do you get? 4 times 26, they have what? 104. 4. 4 times that is 4. 4 times 8 is going to be what? 4 times 2 is going to be 8 plus 2 is going to be 104. Minus 20x. That is 4 times minus 5. Plus 4 times minus 5 is equal to minus 28. Minus 72 equal to minus 24. So, we can now rearrange this such a way that we have 20x plus 6x plus minus 20x. Okay, 20x cancel 20x here because 20x minus 20x will cancel out. Okay, that one is set to. Okay, we have both. We can rearrange this to be 2 minus 2x squared minus plus what? 6x plus 6x. I'm trying to rearrange it minus 60. Minus 72, minus 60, minus 72, plus 1 or 4, equal to, or you can even bring this one in, so as to make things easy. So, or you can get minus 24 for now. So, we have what? Minus 2x squared plus 6x, I want us to set to this number first. So, we have what? Minus 60, minus 72, we give us what? Minus 132. Minus 132. So we have minus 132 plus 104. Then, should we bring this one in? Or we take this to the other side? Don't worry. Let's call for set to this because I'm looking at this minus, so I'm going to take it to the other side. So, minus 132 plus 104 equal to what? Equal to minus 24. So let's quickly do our rough calculation here. So we have what? 130. Don't forget it is minus. Minus 132 now. We have 104. We have 
Well, this one is going to be what? It's going to be 8. Then we add what? 2. We have 28 here. If I release 20, this is 28. This one is going to be what? So 28. This one is going to be minus 28. So we have what? Minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 20 what? 8 equal to minus 24. So please take everything to the other side to make it quadratic equation. Take everything to the other side. Because this is negative. So when you take everything to the other side, all I need is that we take everything to the other side to make it positive. To make this entry to be positive. So this one is going to be what? 2x squared. This one is going to be minus 6x. Are you following? When this one cross, it's going to be plus 2x squared. And this one is going to be minus 6x. This one is going to be what? You know this one is meeting this one. Now this one is already to minus 24 here. Then when this one cross to come and meet it, when this one cross, this one is plus 6x. When this one cross, it will come what? My plus what? 28 equal to what? 0. This one cross will become 2x squared. This one cross will become minus 6x. This one cross will become plus 28. So equal to 0. So everything here, let me summarize. So everything is going to be 2x squared minus 6x. Then minus 24 plus 28 is going to give us what? Plus 4 equal to what? 0. Because this one is going to be plus 4. You can divide, to simplify this, you can divide 2 by 2. Divide 2 by 2. When I mean by divide 2 by 2, to simplify, divide, divide 2 by 2. So what does, what does that mean? It means that this one will be divided by 2 by 2. So I have to make it more simple. So we are going to have what? x squared, because this one will cancel out x squared. Plus what? This one will cancel out. This one will minus what? Minus 3x. Then plus what? This one will cancel out. This one will be 2. Plus 2 equal to what? 0. So what we have now is now a quadratic equation. Please note that. A quadratic equation can always be solved using a quadratic formula or you can easily complete the square method. But let's use what? Factorization method. You can see. Look at this. You can see that this, you are going to multiply, let me just quickly say, you are going to multiply the first entry and the second entry, which is what? x squared times plus what? 2x, so it's going to be plus 2x squared. That's the first thing to do. Then, the factors will be what? Minus x minus 2x to give us minus 3x. Please note that. Factors will be minus x minus what? 2x to give us minus 3x. So we substitute these two to the what? To the question now. I'm coming from this angle to get to another word. x squared minus, instead of minus 3x, now I'm going to have minus x minus 2x plus 2 equal to what? 0. So with this now, we can now factorize out. We have x into brackets. S can go in x we cancel out is the mean x. Then x we cancel to mean minus one. Minus two is common into bracket x minus one equal to zero. So from here now, can I see this is our answer is x minus two x minus 1 equal to what? 0. When you equate this one into what? When you equate it as x minus 2 equal to 0 or x minus 1 equal to what? 0. So from here now, when you transfer minus 2 to the other side, it becomes plus. When you transfer minus 1 to the other side, it becomes plus. So x is equal to minus plus 2 or x equal to 1. When you transform minus 2 to the other side, it's going to be 0 plus 2, so it's going to be plus 2. When you transform minus 1 to the other side, it's going to be 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1. So there's that about that. 
And I quickly run through this question number two. Given that log s base two minus three log minus three log three base x plus two equals to zero. This is a question under log. And then we have different base here. Look at this. We have log x base three three log three base x. So meaning that we have different base. The first thing is to find a way of having the same base, not different base. And to be able to have the same base, you have to change the what? The base of this unknown here. This one is having number, but this one is having base of unknown. So the first thing is to of us deal with base. How do I change log? This is just a question. How do I change log theory base x? We can use the we are we can use a change of base. So apply change of base here using change of base. Using change of base. Which says when you have log A base B, you can have it as what? Well, log A base A all over log B base A. So that's what I want to do. Log A base A is in as log B base A. Or you can even change it entirely. You can decide to use log A base X or log B base X. Or because we want to cast some things there, that's why I'm using the same word. Base and then the same number. So now, we are going to have what? So therefore, yeah, we are going to have log 3 base X to be equal to what? Log 3 base 3 all over log x base what 3 you can see they have the same base now so log 3 base 3 is 1 so log 3 base 3 is 1 please note that so the have was 1 because they have the same the log 3 base 3 is 1 1 over log x base what Three. So meaning that what everything here, log three base, log three base x has changed to one over what? One all over log x base three. Please note that everything here has changed to what? One over log x base what? Three. So that's what I want you to note. So this now becomes log x base three minus three. Now. Everything here, which is log 3 base x, has become 1 all over log s base what? 3 bracket what? Close. Plus 3 equals what? 0. Now, this one, if you see, this, look at this very they have the same thing. So you can say, let log s base 3 be y. Or you can choose any letter you want, or K. So, so mean that whatever I see log S base 3 equal to the word, it will be representing what? Y. So, I will use Y to represent log S base 3. So, this one is going to be Y minus 3 into brackets 1 over, what's this now? Y plus 2 equal to what? 0. So, now, which is simply y minus 3 over y because 3 times 1 over what? 3 over y plus 2 equal to 0. You can't have all letters fraction here. You have to multiply through by what? y. Multiply through by y. When you multiply through by y, we have y times y equal to okay, minus 3 over y times y plus 2 times y equal to 0 times y. That's what we mean by multiply 2. So I multiply 2, this one will give what? y squared. This one cancel out. Minus 3 plus 2y equal to what? 0 times y is going to be what? 0. So everything will become y squared. 3 minus 3 plus 2y equal to 0. So if we arrange the such way that you have quadratic equation, which is going to be 
y squared plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0. We still have any quadratic equation here. So that's why quadratic equation is can never go out of our emphasis in mathematics. So we are going to use factorization method as well. So y squared times is going to be minus 3y squared. Minus 3y squared. That is y squared times minus 3y squared. So the two factors here, because we are dealing with 3, and it's going to be minus, I can use what? You have minus what? So what factors can we use? You can easily use what? Minus y plus 3y. Minus times plus will give you minus. Minus times plus will give you minus. Y times 3y will give you 3y squared. So that is that. And also, minus y plus 3y will give you plus what? 2y. Because this is quotient of 1. Minus 3 plus 3 will give you minus 2. Minus 3 plus, minus 1 plus 3 will give you plus 2. So we just put y like that. So, I will know this one now. We can now what? Come to this word expression. And then put these two what? Factors. So this one will be y squared minus what? y plus 2y plus minus y. Instead of what? This 3 now. Instead of this word 2, we are putting minus y plus 3y equal to what? Minus what? 3 equal to 0. So quickly, we have what? Y into bracket y minus 1 plus 3 into bracket y minus 1 equal to 0. So we have y plus 3 and then y minus 1 equal to 0. We will transfer out. This one will go to both. Transfer this 0 to the right side as we did the right time. So we have y equal to minus 3 or y equal to 1. This is going to be result minus 3. It's going to be minus 3. This is going to be 1. So you now have to recall. Recall that your log x base 3 is equal to what? Equal to y. It's very, very important to recall. Very, very important. Let me close this. It's very, very important to what? Recall. There is a principle in what? In log reading that says whenever you have log x base 3 equal to y, you can easily write it as what? Please note that I'm writing it from here now. So log x base 3 is equal as what? x equal to 2 raised to the power y. Please note that. That's from the law of indices that you say whenever you have a log number, this is equal to the index. So it's equal as what? The number is equal to what? The base raised to the power the what? The index. So meaning that what now? That our x will now be equal to when y is equal to what? Minus 3. What will be our head? x will be equal to 3 raised to the power minus 3. Because when y minus 3 is substitute for what? y which is minus 3. So x equal to 3 raised to the power minus what? 3. It's equal to 3 raised to the power minus and which is same as what? Which is as x equal to 1 all over 3 raised to the power what, 3. So, which is as 1 over 20 what? 7. And then, or, when x is equal to, when y equal to 1, when y equal to 1, x will be equal to 3 raised to the power 1, which is equal to 3. So, we have come to the end of the, today's class. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please do press subscribe button and make sure you have an update on this YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless you.